welcome back to my channel, Boss Up Budget. On this channel, I do cash stuffing, budgeting, saving up challenges, and all things money related. In today's video, I'm going to be stuffing paycheck number 3 of August. So, super exciting, you guys. We are so close to the end of August. Um, pretty close to the end of summer, too. Although it's still really hot right now where I'm at, there's actually a heat wave. So, I guess it's the end, almost the end of summer but the weather's still hot which is um fine with me i just wanted to show you guys that i once again changed up the decor because i love just switching things up a little i think it just makes everything new refresh gives me more motivation but y'all look at this sign it is so cute so obviously it's my youtube name boss up budget and my boyfriend got it for me i think it's for our anniversary and also to celebrate so it's Kind of like everything matched together but we had we have so many things to celebrate for but one of the things is obviously my youtube account actually getting some traction it was so cute when he gave it to me like i'm not gonna lie y'all i shed a tear or two you know a girl was crying or whatever i absolutely love the sign i think it was really thoughtful and it's a really good size and color to match with the aesthetic so hopefully i am able to keep it turned on hopefully that it doesn't make the hue of my pigment or whatever too pink Pink. yeah let me know what you guys think about the sign and if you guys are looking for something like that as well i know that this is a customizable sign i can ask him to see where he got it just wanted to showcase that a little bit and then obviously i have my three favorite books that i think match with the aesthetics still have my atm savings bank account but we won't be using it today because we don't have any leftover and yeah so this is gonna be the setup for the time being maybe until the rest of september so let's get into this week's cash we are stuffing $1,240. I'm gonna go ahead and count this. 1, 2, 3, 354, 455, 550, 600, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10. That was 1,000. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 11, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 12, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. My mind was wandering there for a second, so I kind of did a little bit of a pause. So I know that you guys have been anticipating for the Bottle Girl cash stuffing, and of course I already got paid, but I realized because I get paid every two weeks that I might as well just wait until this Friday to get the rest of that money and do a collective of the Bottle Girl stuffing. You guys will see why I want to do that, and I'll explain it in that video, but all in all, I think the putting two or three paychecks together it's gonna give me more um, more wiggle room to stuff my binder and so that's why I'm just gonna wait for that paycheck to come through this Friday and I will have it up after this video. Uh, something else to look forward to is there's actually gonna be another giveaway coming up so I have reached my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all so 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 much for all your support and kind words and just I appreciate you guys each so so much for just engaging in my video videos getting to know me and just your feedback like I, I absolutely love it and I love inspiring and motivating you guys and you guys are doing the same for me like I literally am anticipating a couple days before I even get paid just because I'm so excited to show you guys what I'm gonna do with the money whereas back then I would be like oh I got paid whatever you know I wouldn't even think twice about how much I got paid and where the money is going but now I'm really really on top of it and yeah so I am gonna be doing a giveaway still kind of brainstorming what I want to do. The last giveaway I did give out a customized binder for one lucky subscriber and kind of debating on what I want to do. So if you guys have any thoughts of what you guys like, like maybe even like I'm totally down to even give out like gift cards, like Amazon gift cards or Etsy gift cards if that's what you guys like. Um, So yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below what you guys want to see as the gifts. I would take that into consideration. And all right, so let's get started with the cash stuffing. Like I said, we don't have any leftovers so we're gonna go straight into this binder so the first one is coffee and it's gonna be getting $25 
coffee literally saves me in the morning. Are you guys the type of person that like needs to drink coffee? Because I need the caffeine. Like I cannot start my day without any caffeine. I can't. Dining out, I'm gonna give it $30. Tomorrow is Thursday for me and I'm gonna go see my best friend. I'm gonna go ahead and fix her nail. I did some short gel x nails for her i think two weeks ago and one of them finally popped off so i'm really glad it lasted for that long and the one that popped off i'm gonna go ahead and fix it for her tomorrow and yeah so we're gonna go get some food and then just come back to my place and fix her nail yes we're gonna be stuffing 30 dollars this week as you guys know, gas is going down, but I'm still stuffing a lot because I really haven't stuffed anything for my bottle girl. So most of my gas money, it's been sufficient enough for me to drive to work and back. You know, other than that, I really don't spend gas money on anything else. But once um, I do the cash stuffing, I'm literally going to pay back myself back for all of the gas money that's being used from this envelope. Groceries is going to get $70. And me and my boyfriend were talking the other night. We've been going pretty ham on DoorDash. We've been staying up like pretty late, like 3, 4 in the morning. And that's because since I started the bottle girl job, my sleeping schedule has been completely different. I have been going to sleep like sometimes at 7 a.m. And it's just, it's really crazy. So sometimes like during the weekday when I don't have my bottle girl job, I'm just trying really hard to like get back on track. So sometimes we still sleep at 3 or 4 and we're like up and really, really hungry. So we're like, let's just DoorDash some fast food like just get it over with and we've been spending a lot of money on DoorDash and like we've come to an agreement that me and him are just gonna delete the app in total and like really be hard on ourselves to meal prep our food and so personal we still have five dollars left over actually I'm just gonna leave this five dollars in here and just pull another five dollars so every week I put five dollars in my personal and if I don't use it then I'm gonna put it in my fun envelope or an envelope of my choice I'm just gonna go ahead and put five dollars in this And we'll get back to that afterwards. Laundry is getting $5. And this one's empty because I just recharged my account. I paid $20 in my laundry account to use the washing machine. So I'm going to go ahead and restuff this. Yeah, we'll also be getting $5. So I did pull some money out of Meow because I went to go buy some stuff. 5, 10, 15, 16, and 17 dollars. And that is it for our weekly allowance you guys. We're good to go to spend for this week. The first I know we're going to work on is our monthly expense. The first one is car insurance and we're going to stuff at 35. You know what, I've decided I'm not going to count up how much I have in each of these envelopes because the amount is pretty much going to be the same all the time and I'll just count it every last week of the month. For car insurance, for example, at the end of the month, I need to have 138 in here. So I just feel like maybe at the end of each month, I will count how much I have in the envelope so you guys know. But I don't think it's necessary to just count every week because it's not a fluctuating sinking funds. It will always be consistent. Hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you guys are okay with that. But please love the feedback. So let me know if you guys want it any other way. Car note is getting $90. So I've had my car for about a year now and I don't know of anything really about refinancing because it is my first car and I'm first generation in my household. If you guys don't know what that means, it means that my parents are both immigrants and so I'm the first naturalized um, American citizen. And yeah, so I don't really have people to like in my family to ask to kind of figure things out. So if you guys have any information about refinancing your car or where I can get more information, would love to hear from you guys. 
totally totally appreciate all the feedback that you guys have jim is going to be getting at ten dollars since i started the bottle girl job i'm not gonna lie i haven't really been going to the gym because my body's been so drained i'm constantly doing stuff like i already have a nine to five i have my bottle girl on the weekends i'm also doing this youtube account and some other social media content creation so it's been a little bit hard to like get my groove back in in the gym but once i get back in i will let you guys know how it's going but right Right now it seems like for this month I'm still working through my schedule. Ortho won't be getting anything. Phone will be getting $50. And subscription will be getting $15. Now these ones are fluctuating envelopes. So these are not my monthly expenses. These are just fixed expenses. And so I will count these ones for you guys. Our registration this week will be getting 25. So it now has 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 55. 255 in car registration, which is a good place to be. Um, I just want to hit 400 by October. Car renewal won't get anything. The next one we're going to stuff is this thing called repay our health bill. To go more in depth about this new envelope, I need to stuff $471 to pay back to my credit card. So what happened is that when I got my teeth removed, my health insurance didn't cover for everything. And so I had to put that amount on my credit card. It wasn't budgeted for because I honestly really didn't know how much I needed at the time. I didn't want to pull out of my health emergency fund because I still want that one to be like an untouchable envelope. So I decided, okay, I'm going to make an expense envelope, put it in my expense binder, and it's going to call it repay and then what I need. So this will probably be how it's going to look like for the future. Any expense that I have that I didn't budget for, it will kind of look like this. So we're going to be stuffing $70 and I'm going to put all 20s and probably a 10. So 20, 40, 60, and 70 don't have a end date that I want to stuff this by. As long as I get it done maybe by the beginning of next year, I'll be happy. Hopefully in, in a few months, I don't want to, you know, have that lingering on for too long. Skipping school loan and going straight into our debt envelope. We're going to be stuffing $350 into our debt envelope. And we're going to pay this right away because we don't want our interest charge to go up. So that is it for this really thick <laughs> expense binder. And then we can move on to our emergency funds and savings binder. First one is Bentley, which is my dog, and he is going to be getting $40. Now he has 1, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 20, and 30. So he has a 330 right now. We're going to skip car and go straight into health. Health will be getting $5. Health now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, and 98. Life insurance will get So now it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 550, 600, 650, 670, 697, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. That was 714. Just need 1,000 more and we've met our life insurance amount for 1,023. Made emergency will get $50. It now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 600, 650, 700, and 750. All right. 
Rainy Day will get its usual $20. One, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, and 40. And I wanted to show you guys how much I have in my 401k account. You guys are wondering. So this is at an account, which is a retirement account that I have with my company. And I've only been stuffing it for the beginning of April, actually beginning of March. So it's been about like five months of stuffing. My company does match 2% my account. I have 1,000, 100, 200, 300. 400, 500, 600, and 7. So I have roughly 1,700 in it. Okay. And then our bank savings account is going to get 25. I won't count this one until the beginning of the month because every month I stuff about $100 into my bank savings account, give or take. Beginning of next month, I'll show you guys how much I have in there. We're going to skip house and go into our investing account, which once again is going to get $25 every week. Beginning of next month, I will show you guys how much I have in there. All right, and that is it for this binder. We're gonna do our summer challenge. So we have two more weeks of this challenge, you guys. And we're gonna stuff $50 this week, which is a good, good amount. Still don't know how much we have in here, but we will find out soon. This one is our short-term sinking funds. Let me just remove some of the stickers that I put on here. Okay. So the first one, Bentley Essentials, will be getting $25. So this envelope now has 20, 40, 45, and 46. The buffer envelope will also get $20, and now it has 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, and $69. Car Essentials will get $5, has $20 right now. The next one is Fun Essentials and it will get $5. Now it has 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, and 102. I'm anticipating that these envelopes will be pretty empty at the end of this month. Gifts will get $20. So it has 20, 1, 2, and 3. This is also a new envelope, so this envelope is called Gym Ting, so like if I need anything for the gym, any clothes, workout equipment, anything like that, I will take it out of this envelope. And so I also wrote my goal amounts on here to be 300 So once I hit $300, I'll probably not stuff this anymore. Don't know how it's going to look like when I get there, but that's going to be just the goal that we have for now. So that has $10. So for health essentials, we'll be stuffing $5 in it. And it now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, and 42. Before, I didn't think I needed that many things in health, but now that I'm actually stuffing for this envelope, I started noticing how many things I need to take care of my health. Like how much I spend on supplements, on band-aids, on my first aid kits, things like that. I actually do spend quite a bit in health. I'm glad that I have this envelope now and now I kind of have that sight or that vision into how much I spend when it comes to my health so it's, it's actually a really good thing to know um, yeah so house supplies is also going to be getting five dollars and now it has twenty dollars lover which is a new envelope that I introduced at the beginning of this month 
and it's gonna get another $30. So we'll have 50, 70, 90, and a hundred dollars. And we figured out which days we want to celebrate our anniversary. So not this weekend, um, celebrate it the following week. And that's because at the end of this week, I actually do have work on Friday and Saturday. So I won't be able to, you know, celebrate our anniversary. But I decided to take the following week off because our anniversary. And also I have an orthodontist appointment where all my brackets are going to go on and all the wirings are going to go on. So I don't really want to even be at work when my mouth is like sore, you know? So yeah, that's a little insight on next weekend for y'all self-care will be getting five dollars so it now has 20 40 50 55 56 and 57 splurge will be getting ten dollars And now this envelope has 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 56. We're not going to do anything for tech. We're going to do $5 for travel. So travel now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. So 144 in this. And the last $5 is also going to go to a new envelope, which I introduced sometime this month as well, which is wardrobe. And now it has $10. And that is it, you guys. So we are done stuffing all of our binders. Thank you guys again so much for watching my videos and for supporting me. I love it when you guys come around. I will see you guys in my next one. Ta-ta for now. Thank <laughs> you.